Okay, I know that Scott kind of like, uh, did something that, uh, people, like, some, like, most of us don't really believe in stuff like that, if that makes sense, but we still gotta respect Scott, even for his decisions, right? I mean, why are we just, like, boycotting him for this? By now, he, I'm pretty sure it's obvious he you know what's going on, so I won't go much in detail of of what's going on, because I don't really like talking about that stuff. I will say a little bit of what's going on. So basically, uh, people are doxing the reason why uh, most of our miniature plushie videos are here today. You know, Scott Cawson, of course. Uh, he's getting doxed because uh, apparently people are like thinking he's like a homophobe or something, because uh, apparently he's like, uh, like, donating to, like, political figures and stuff like that, or something like that, I don't really know. And he's, like, donating to, like, associations that are, like, anti-LGBTQ and stuff like that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I support what Scott's decisions are, but I don't support at the same time kind of thing. But that doesn't mean go and cancel him or anything, I mean, that's just wrong. Even if, uh, some of us don't like what, uh, Scott is doing with the money and where it's going, we still have to respect him for, uh, what he has done for us and what he is still doing for us. Uh, sure, a lot of the money is, uh, going, and that he has is going to, like, uh, like, presidents and candidates and stuff like that, but we still gotta know that he's still working really hard on security breach and stuff. He's still working with Steel Wool, and I believe they're almost done with the game. It's gonna come out soon. And here's the plot twist, alright? All this is going on Twitter, alright? That's kind of obvious why people are calling him names and stuff like that. I'm actually kind of worried for Scott personally, even though if I don't know him, because, uh, they, they're, because there are death threats going around there. Uh, they know his, like, they don't know his mailbox address. They don't know his, uh, like, house address. They know his, like, actual location, precise location address. Which is kind of scary because, uh, Scott, uh, has a wife and she's, like, uh, six months or six weeks or something pregnant or something. And, uh, so if something bad happens to them, I really feel bad. I really feel bad for what they're going through right now, right? And I don't want to see the FNAF community die out like this. Now, of course, the FNAF community won't die or anything. It's just that. Uh, people are spacing themselves away from FNAF in a uh, halting way because of this one little event. Come on, people, just respect other people's opinions, right? You gotta respect, you gotta respect uh, Scott a little bit, right? He's went through some harsh stuff in life, and uh, you gotta respect him because just because he's voting for people that you don't like uh, doesn't mean that you have to like uh, go ahead and like dox him or anything or cancel him. And if that's what he believes in, that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. I don't support it, but I'm fine with it, casting. Like, I don't... Like, I'm not a politician person. I don't really like politics or anything. In fact, I don't even understand it one bit, apart from the fact that I hate Trump, personally. But still, I respect Scott's opinions on his side. I kind of like Trump a little bit, right? You gotta respect other people, right? And as I said, he is, uh, like... Uh, people are saying that he's a homophobe, which is really mean. Uh, because, uh, all that Scott is doing is just donating the intent, not intentionally, like, unintentionally donating the people that are, uh, secretly against the LGBT, uh, plus community. Uh, and I'm not against Scott at all. I'm on his side, alright? I have many friends that are gay and lesbian, and, yeah. I'm not gay myself, but I do... Highly support the LGBT... Frick, I can't pronounce things. LGBTQ plus community, right? I support it. I think Scott supports it too. I don't know. Even if he doesn't, I'm totally fine with that. You gotta respect our people's opinions, all right? All Scott did was just donate to, uh... Some association that is against LGBTQ without realizing it, I guess. And he's like, uh... And... He you gotta give him, like, freedom to, like, uh, donate and vote for who he wants, alright? To win and stuff. And I will say, uh, one kind of bad word, not really, uh, you know, the P word, because this is irritating me so much, but I'm not, uh, showing my anger in my voice right now, even though 
that's the reason why I'm st stuttering a lot because uh, uh, and stuff because I'm generally annoyed at what's going on. Uh, the, you know the P word. It's the same word as annoyed, but I feel like I should say it for once. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't uh, block this video out and I'll get another strike. I am pissed of uh people on Twitter that are like doing this to Scott, and it's dragging me crazy. And I don't know what to say. And I just want to stop making this video right now. You already know what's going on. I don't want to make this video any longer. So <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to take a break and uh, I'm going to try and get this out of my mind because I am really angry at the people who are doing this to Scott, alright? Uh, I want to defend them, so yeah, off camera, you're going to hear me saying the F word and stuff. I literally swear in pretty much almost every other uh, sentence I say throughout the whole day, uh, but not to my parents, of course, uh, off camera, of course. Uh, but I swear all the time off camera, you just don't hear me on, on video, and that, that's actually the, one of the main reasons why I mess up, uh, speech a lot, is because I can't figure out what to say because I'm used to swearing all the time. I'm fluent off camera, but I, I'm sometimes like this, like, on camera, because I'm nervous, and, uh, I don't want to mess up what I say. If I accidentally say a swear word, then it's game over, and I have to restart the whole freaking recording again, you know? Uh, so yeah, I'll see you later guys, and, uh, see you later.